Alrighty, I got stiffed by my dad today to go arrowhead hunting, so I got some time to go over a request here to look at uh, what Carrier calls the CLO board. A lot of guys call it the compressor lockout board. I like to call it a current lockout board, and I'll explain that in a second here. There's really nothing too mystical about this board. It's actually once we go over it, the light bulb's going to go on and you realize how stupid simple this thing is. First of all, in most of the circuits you're going to see, we'll have a, a transformer. We're going to have a, a compressor contactor. We're going to have some safeties in series, which is usually what they do with carrier, and a compressor. How the CLO, or the current lockout board works, is basically um, has four pins. One, two, three, and an X. Pin number one is always tied to the common side of our transformer as I noticed 24 volt common of our transformer and our contactor obviously will have a common side to it to the contactor coil so this is always connected solid when there's a call for cooling our thermostat closes the Y and sends 24 volts from our transformer to our CLO board to pin 2 we need to realize that this is a normally closed relay. This board is considered de-energized or not in function at this moment. It is in a de-energized state. So when 24 volts enters pin 2, 24 volts is sent directly out to pin 3 via this normally closed relay. And goes through each of the safety switches in series and energizes our compressor. This is the key to this board. The reason why I call this a current lockout board is that this board is required to see at least 2.5 amps through this current sensor within three seconds of the compressor contactor closing and the compressor starting. Now if you notice, we have either if it's a three phase, T1, T2, T3, or it's a single phase compressor, we'd have our common start and run. And usually our current sensor is wrapped around or it'll be around our black or our common wire on our single phase or any one of the three, if it's a three phase, leads going to the compressor. Thus, as the compressor cl contactor closes, because we have 24 volts coming through the normally closed relay through three, as this closes, our compressor draws amperage, and of course this is going to draw more than 2.5 amps. This will sense more than 2.5 amps and keep this circuit de-energized and this relay closed. That way we will have continuous 24 volts feeding our compressor contactor. Now, if the current sensor senses anything below 0.5, that means as the amperage drops below 0.5 after initial startup, 0.5 amps, the current will energize this circuit here and open this relay. When this opens, the 24 volts going the 2 out the 3 will no longer be closed. It will now be opened. 24 volts will discontinue out on the 24 volt circuit to the contactor, basically opening the contactor, killing the compressor, and the X terminal more or less becomes a closed circuit. So now 24 volts is sent out the X. X is nothing more. A lot of times you'll see nothing attached to the X terminal. However, if we have a thermostat that has a fault input, like a Linux has a L terminal, some uh, carrier thermostats or higher end Honeywell commercial thermostats may have a fault input. We can send that 24 volts to that fault input to designate that there's an error or fault with our system at the thermostat itself. Other times you can have this 24 volts go to an alarm, a light of some sort in order to signify that there's an issue with that rooftop unit. The reason why I call this a current lockout is because everything relies on current. It has nothing to do with the safeties. If a safety was to open, whether or not the free stat 
a high pressure switch or a low pressure switch was to open, all it's doing is killing the 24 volts to the compressor contactor. Because the compressor contactor opens, we no longer have current at our compressor, and because we have no current, we drop below that 0.5 amp threshold. The current sensor recognizes that and opens that relay and kills power to the entire system, and it will not reset until we discontinue 24 volts to our number two terminal. And by, disc, by depowering or de-energizing number two and re-energizing it, it will reset the circuit to re-attempt another try at running. Thus, it's just a solid lockout device. We also got to realize that there is not, not only do we got to realize that uh, the safety switches aren't the only culprits that may open on this type of circuit. I drew in some fuses here. Our line voltage or our low voltage to our compressor may run through a fuse block. If one of these fuses open on a three phase, of course we're going to basically have an open compressor, a compressor shuts down, we do no longer have current that our sensor can, can, mo can monitor and our system opens. We may also have an internal overload inside our compressor that opens, causing the compressor to shut down. It is no longer drawing current through the sensor, and again, the circuit may open. So, in essence, I guess a CLO, a current lockout, is monitoring current. When the safety is open, the compressor shuts down, no current, lockout condition. If a fuse opens, no current, lockout condition. If the internal overload opens, compressor shuts down, no current, lockout condition. I think there's a misconception that there's a, there's a, a safety loop to this. There's not. So, to kind of take a general look, here's kind of the internal circuitry of the board. Obviously, I have our common. Our common is just basically feeding the lockout coil of that relay. So we have potential voltage at the lockout coil. But you notice here, this would be our amperage or our current switch. If, if we were to lose current, this switch will close, energizing this coil with the 24 volts that is currently here at the circuit being fed by a closed thermostat. When this closes, this normally open relay and normally open well, normally open contact, normally closed contact, will switch. So this will become open. So our 24 volts is no longer directed at our compressor, but now is directed to X, or to energize an alarm. So in essence, there is really nothing mystifying about the CLO. It is understanding that it is sensing current, not the safeties. The safeties are opening and discontinuing the contactor, killing the compressor and do the compressor not drawing current this is what causes the lockout remember this board normally is de-energized or is deemed a de-energized board it is not until there is an event that we have a lockout because of lack of current that this enter that this relay is energized and becomes an energized board or a locked out board so i hope this helps clarify what a what a carrier clo current lockout board is and how it works it is really quite basic